Hello students, in this video we will learn about the algorithms to find if a number is prime number or not. This program you must have covered in the first year of your course in engineering or BCA degree. And you might be wondering that why I am sharing this video because it is a pretty simple program. But to your surprise and uh, delight, uh, to find the prime numbers, there are more than 10 algorithms. And all of them, they test the primality of a number. Uh, some are heuristic in nature and some are absolute methods. So let us explore the wide variety of algorithms that are available and enhance our skills. So let's go to the first method. The first method says that if you want to determine if n is a prime number, just modulo n by all the numbers from 2 to n by 2. This is the regular method which we are using in our uh, classrooms. And in this method, suppose 10 is the number for which I want to find out if it is a prime or not. Then from 2 to half of 10, that is 5, I have to perform the division. So 10 modulo 2 is, uh, I'm sorry, this is 0. And similarly, 10 modulo 3 is 1, 10 modulo 4 is 2, and 10 modulo 5 is 0. Modulo will give you the remainder. So 10 modulo 2 is 0. So wherever it, we are getting a value of 0 that means it is divisible and wherever we are getting a remainder it is not divisible. Now if we want to perform the division by all the numbers then uh, here as you can see that performing the division by 2 or by 5 gives us the same result. So this kind of a division of uh, performing division from 2 till n by 2 is redundant. So what we can do is we can reduce the limit of n by 2 to square root of n. If we perform the division with all the numbers less than or equal to square root of n, then also we are able to find out that the number is prime or not. And uh, as we can see division by 2 will give 5 and division by 5 will give 2. So we can just find the square root of 10 and perform division only till that limit. Now one question will come in your mind if the square root of n is a decimal number that means it is a floating point number then we have to just take the integer part of the number and perform division by that. Okay now these are two simple methods then we have the third method. Now this method it says it is a necessary condition but not sufficient. So this is uh, still in the proof uh, arena and in this we say that a number n is a prime if it is a sum of a number m plus 2 times of x where m is also a prime number and x is any number from 0 to a, a infinity. So we, multi we take an uh, even number and add it into a prime number we will always get a prime number. So uh, this is a necessary condition. This must be true but it is not sufficient. So always will not be there. But most of the times this condition is true that when you add an even number to a prime number you will get a prime number. Then the third method, uh, fourth method in this video. This is the Wilson's method. In the Wilson's method he says that if we want to prove that P is a prime number. Then first of all find the factorial of p minus 1 and then you add 1 to this result of the factorial and you modulo it by p and if the result is 0 that means that the number is prime. So as we can see in this table. So for number 2 I do 2 minus 1 factorial so this will be 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 modulo 2 is 0 so the number is prime then we have 3 so 3 minus 1 is 2 2 factorial is 2 itself 2 plus 1 is 3 3 mod 3 is 0 so the number is prime 3 is a prime number then 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so 3 into 2 will give you the factorial 6 plus 1 7 mod 4 will give you 3 
है एंड फोर इज अ कॉम्पोजिट नंबर एंड देर फोर द मॉड इज नॉट जीरो इट इज अम अदर नंबर इज गेटिंग जनरेटेड सो इट इज अ कॉम्पोजिट नंबर एंड दिस इज ट्रू फॉर ऑल द नंबर बट द प्रॉब्लम विद दिस मेथड इज दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल एंड फॉर लार्ज नंबर इट इज अज कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम now these are not all the methods there are more methods i will be coming up with them in my next video stay tuned for more methods thank you very much for watching the video if you like my channel please subscribe it